Connor, thank you. I'm here with Dave DeGolier from Explore Stuben. Dave, back again for the new year. Uh, welcome back. First of uh, all, thanks for coming on this morning. Thanks. It's great to be here. Yeah, nice folks, if you don't remember, Dave, he is the expert on all things <laughs> happening in Stuben <laughs> County. Dare I say, and Dave, a lot of events coming up even this weekend. Can we talk about what's happening yeah. Friday? We talked about it last night here on WENY Cabin Fever. It's in Vent Corning Scaffer District. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I mean, especially it's kind of it's hard to believe it's the middle of winter already, but, you know, we're <laughs> closing in on the end of February, and Cabin Fever is a very popular event the Gafford District puts on every year. Um, it's uh, going to be taking place tomorrow, as you said, from 5 to 9 throughout the Gafford District. There are three check-in places, um, and that's the Radisson Hotel, Carrie's Brew House, and then the Wine Glass Marathon office, which is in the Barron's to Ben building. And uh, from five to six is kind of check in and go shopping a little bit. And then from six to nine, it's libations time. Uh, you know, so it's a fam uh, actually an adult friendly event. Um, and I think there are, I don't know exactly the total count, but I think there are a couple dozen different libations producers. So wineries, craft breweries, distilleries from the region there. Folks get to walk around and, uh, and enjoy being out with their friends and especially in the winter time and you know, taste some good stuff. Yeah, it's going to have a heck of a lot different than last year. Last year it was kind of snowing and cold, yes. and this year it's going to be raining in 50. So yep. kind, of a, kind of a mix of this weird winter we've been having. But uh, Dave, then tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, excuse me, the Saturday. day after yep. Friday, uh, the uh, fashion show returns for uh, at... at yeah. <laughs> can I speak? Dave, feel it. My brain does that all the time. <laughs> the uh, New Boots, it's a fashion yes. runway reboot for the Arts Council of Southern Finger Lakes. It's um, their kind of annual fundraiser. It's a f really fun event. It's kind of uh, high fashion meets upcycling. And then you've got all these local creatives and artists who design these pretty outrageous outfits, some of them, and they're pretty amazing. Um, with all this recycled materials. And uh, it's an actual fashion show at the Corning Museum of Glass from six to nine on Saturday. And uh, the actual, op the doors open at six mm -hmm. from seven to nine is actually the event. There are tickets available. I know there's some, only a few VIP tickets left and then there are the, uh, the rest of the tickets are still available as well. Yeah, we'll have that link for you guys up yeah. on our website at weny.com. Can folks still sign up for the fashion show? Do you know if they're interested? Um, to, pr pr to present, you mean like? Yeah. Uh, I think be since it's uh, this weekend, I imagine it's probably too late to sign up to actually be part of it, um, but they could certainly go uh, connect with people and then try and be part of next year's. Yeah, event. get ready yeah. for next year. That's kind of the premier event you're watching this yeah. weekend, and then uh, coming up in the middle of March, there's a Maple Weekend happening at the Wyatt Watson Woods. Tell us, yeah. tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's a very popular event. You know, this is kind of maple season right now, um, and, and it's a local product that is produced here in a lot of different places. So the Wyatt Watson Woods out in Cooper's Plains has a, uh, a Maple Weekend, and you can actually go stay there. You know, it's a good family uh, event because you can go stay there to learn about the process. You can tap the trees. You can help boil the, you know, the syrup down, uh, but there are all other activities like archery and hiking and hay rides. So it's kind of a fun weekend um, built around the actual mapling process. So you learn a little bit about the process, um, but you also have uh, have a lot of fun. Yeah, education. You can yeah. get outdoors too. David yep. Goyer, thank you so much oh, nice to see for you. coming in this thank morning. You. A whole lot more to talk about. We'll of course have Dave back on again. Thanks, thanks so much, Dave. Uh, thank Crystal, you. I'll send it back to you.